everyone welcome to fashion for you in this video I'm going to show you boat neck blouse with a side zipper I'm using red color fabric and this is the zipper make sure you are using zipper which comes special for blouse this is invisible from right side and this golden lace I'll use on my neckline and my waist okay so let's get started I'll begin with cutting I'll first draw a pattern on the paper then I will transfer the pattern on the fabric I have taken two pieces of paper one for the front side and second for the back side I'll measure the length length I'll take 16 here because I want lehenga blouse to be little long if you want you can take standard length that is 14 inches so I'll make a mark on 17 inches 1 inch I'll take for the seam allowance on the top and on the hemline bottom side now I'll mark shoulder width my shoulder width is 14 and a half so I will mark its half that is 7.25 and half an inch I will add to this because I'm going to make a sleeveless blouse and for that I'm going to attach a trim on the armhole so I have to leave half an inch for the seam allowance now I'm going to mark armhole for sleeveless blouse will mark armhole always less than usual armhole here I will reduce 0.75 from 7.25 so it becomes 6.5 so I'll keep 6.5 here I'll discard this because I've marked this mistakenly now I'll draw a straight line here as well and a straight line here at the hemline now I'll mark bust measurement over this line my bust is 37 so I'll add 2 inches to it and divide it by 4 so I'm going to mark 9.75 here now I'm going to draw a curve for armhole this is the curve for back side and now little bit inner side for sleeveless it would be half an inch towards inner side so I'll draw another curve this would be armhole curve for the front side now I'm going to make boat neck blouse for boat neck the width for the neck is more and the depth is less for boat neck neck width would be more than 4 inches here I'm going to take 5 inches or other way around you can take measurement from armhole line from armhole line you can measure two and a half two inches it's all up to you how much broad you want your shoulder to be now neck depth I'm gonna take neck depth around three and a half inches and then I will draw a curve for the neckline so this is gonna my boat neck now I'm gonna mark my princess line from here I'll take three and a half inches and from this mark I'll take 10 inches straight down the line I'll make another mark over here and now from here again I'll check if it is three and a half from armhole I'll take half of the length so half of armhole is coming near about here I'll mark another point and the third point I'll mark on three and a half inches from here and from this point I'll take one inch on both sides I'll take scale and mark straight line here these two points I'll not join with straight line I'll first join them with straight line and then I'll make a curve this will give nice fitting to your blouse so this part I'm gonna discard points I'll make a curve this is my princess line and now I'm gonna cut this first I will cut on the armhole which I've drawn for the back side and then I'll cut rest of the pattern I forgot to take shoulder drop that I'll take now so measure 0.75 inches here and then draw a line 
And now I'm gonna cut this. Now I'm going to cut armhole for the front panel and then on the princess line. Now I'll cut my neckline. Now I'm gonna draw dot for the back side. Now I'm gonna mark my waist measurement here. From one fourth of my waist measurement, I'll reduce one inch that I've taken for dart. So 7.5 plus one, that is 8.5 I'll mark here. Bust measurement is same, that is 9.75. I'll draw the neckline for the back side. Now I'm gonna cut this. I'll now transform my patterns on the fabric. I'll double the fabric like this. Then in the same way I will light down double lining. Now I'll take back pattern and I will secure it with the help of pins. And now I'll cut this. Make sure to leave no margin this side. But while cutting neckline, you have to leave half an inch margin and then cut. Here also I leave half an inch margin and then cut. On shoulder drop no margin and as well as at armhole no margin. Similarly for the center piece of front panel I will transfer the pattern on fabric. I leave the margin in neckline and on the princess line. In the same way side pieces of the front panel I will cut. I will leave half an inch margin on the princess line and rest I will cut as it is. Cutting is done, now I will begin with stitching. For stitching first of all I will take my back panel. I will join fabric with the lining. Before joining fabric to the lining, I will make darts on that. For this, first I have to transfer my darts from pattern on the fabric. Now I'm gonna sew these darts for both of them. I've sewn darts for both of them and now I'm going to join them from here. Now after joining, I'll turn this seam fabric to the lining side and I'll make a stitch line. Now I'll use iron to flatten the seam.
Now you can see I have made a stitch line over here. Now again I will turn it inside out and I will cut it from here. And now I am going to stitch my neckline. While stitching my neckline, I will use this dory over here to tie button. Now in this corner I'll take my dory, I'll double it like this and then I'll keep it here like this. And now I'll make stitch line over here. I'll use iron to make it set. And now it is looking like this. Now further I'll proceed with my front panel. This is my front panel. I'll remove pins. Then I'll take center piece of the front panel. I'll take both lining and my fabric. I'll start stitching front panel through neckline. First of all, I'm going to stitch my neckline. I've stitched my neckline. I'll turn it inside out and I'll use iron. I'm going to sew this lace for the front neckline. I'll keep my lace like this and then I'll use some pins to attach this. I'll change my stitch to zigzag reduce the length increase the width keep a newspaper underneath while stitching lace with the neckline this will prevent slipping of fabric and it would be easy for you to attach the lace I'll use iron to flatten it. Whenever you use iron after every step while making your dress, your dress will come out very neat and clean. It will add another shine to your dress. Now I'll take my side pieces and now I'm gonna stitch these two side pieces with lining. I'll join four layers at a time.
now I've stitched princess line now I'll take this strip and I'll join it on the hemline Now I'll turn it inside and I'll fold it like this and then I'll use this lace here. Now again using zigzag stitch I'll attach this lace on my waistline. Now front panel is ready, I'll take my back panel and I'll join them through the shoulders. Now you can see I've joined them through the shoulders. Now I'll move further with my armhole. For armhole I've cut a bice binding 2 inches broad. I'll double it and then I'll use it to lock my armholes. With the help of iron, I'll set it as double. Then I'll take it and I'll stitch it from inner side, that means wrong side. Now turn the strip to right side to make armhole like this. So I am done with my armhole. Now I will stitch this through sides. I will double check my measurement and I will mark again my measurement details here because blouse with zip is difficult to alter because on one side it has zip so it could altered be only from one side and if there is a big difference in measurement then you have to redo all again stitch it from right side because we are going to attach zip on left side this is the left side here I'm going to attach zipper to attach zipper, I'll keep it like this. Zipper will come like this. Open side of zipper will come in the hemline. Before that, from here, I'm going to stitch around one and a half or two inches. I've stitched it from here. Now, I'm going to transfer this line to other side as well. Then I will transfer these lines to right side from wrong side because I am going to stitch from right side. Then I will make these lines dark. I am going to attach zipper with this line of reference on both the sides. I will take my zipper now. Again close it and check till which point it is going. Same point I have to keep here on the hemline. Now I'll stitch it like this. Here I'll use pin so that I'll know where to start. This will come like this. Change to zipper foot. Fold this extra zipper in the starting like this. Here in the starting make 
two to three stitches reverse and again and then you can continue in a straight line stitching half the way take this hook and close the zipper this will make you easy to stitch further I've sewn the zipper from one side you can see it is looking like this now I'll sew it from other side I'll check line of reference where I have marked and I'll sew exactly on the line same way fold extra zipper inside and sew it together After sewing side zipper, blouse is looking like this. You cannot notice zipper because this is invisible zipper. With this, blouse is almost ready. I have to attach a button at the back. I've got a golden button. This I will attach here. My blouse is ready. This is the blouse with lehenga which I have shared last week. If you have any further query, you can write to me on my Facebook page or on my email. I am there to help you. If you like this video, please give me thumbs up. To watch more videos in future, don't forget to hit subscribe button. I will be there with a new video soon. Bye bye.